what would be an early sign that a company's data might not be AI ready? I think some of those red flags include a lack of trust in your output. So even if the data pipelines exist, you may not trust the outputs. Um, that's a major warning sign. Inconsistent reporting, manual workarounds, slow I AI project timelines. So um, delaying in your AI initiatives is stemming from data that isn't ready usually. And limited access and usability. Again, if you're only letting the experts access the data, then you're missing out on the the juice and the goodness from the business users. Um, and good infrastructure isn't enough. I hope I hit home on that. But you know, tools like Databricks or Snowflake, they're great. And they're, they also don't guarantee that you're AI ready. Um, so clean, connected, accessible data is essential. Yeah, Rachel, do you any, any thoughts there? Yeah, I would agree with that entirely. And I think that also kind of lends itself to why Alteryx is so amazing for this. In my experience, like I've worked in FP&A and legal firms before, but the, those business users are the ones that are closest to that data that understand that context which is so important for AI. So yes, you need to be able to blend those data sets together, but you also need to have your users that understand the data, that understand when these trends happen, these have effects further downstream and understand what those potential things that could happen, could happen. So absolutely agree with you, Hannah. You hit the nail on the head. Well, I want to get back to a concept you introduced early in the presentation, which is this idea of an AI data clearinghouse, uh, which I think is a fascinating concept and, and a framework for people from the way maybe people can think about how this all fits together in an AI stack. Um, can you just reiterate a little bit more about uh, the thinking around developing that, that, that AI data clearinghouse and, and, uh, and how people can leverage it? Yeah, I love this question. Also, transparently, this is something that we're still iterating on as a company. So I think you'll see even our take on this change. I think it's been changing for the last six months as we sort of figure out really where this is resonating, but I think it does resonate. Um, so the AI clearinghouse as a concept is really the trust layer for AI, um, where we're saying that Alteryx sits between your raw data and your AI models. And it's where the data becomes trustworthy and usable. It's not storage, it's not the model, it's the essential middle layer. Um, so this is where the data gets cleaned, governed, enriched with your business logic and validated for use. Um, and we're really purpose built for this role. Alteryx, we have decades of experience in enabling fast and compliant and collaborative data prep. Um, so our goal is to ensure that what goes into your data, uh, what goes into your AI, <laughs> your data is AI ready, high quality, auditable, and really aligned with your business needs. And Rachel, I don't know if you have anything to add here, but I know you're close on this as well. Yeah, I would just add that, just keep in mind that AI has been around for years. Generative AI is hot on the scene, but AI has been around for decades. And it's something that Alteryx has been plugged into and helping users for, for a long time. So this is not any new pattern that we're seeing. You still need to have good data so that you have your you know good data in, good data out, and ready for those AI applications. So, just to call out that this is not a new kind of process that we're going through, but we are all learning together when it comes to Gen AI and how we can use it to fuel these kinds of insights and how we can use that to make our processes better and make our data processing processes better. So it's it's a great time to lean in, learn and engage. But also remember, these are the same kind of patterns that we've been going through for a long time now. So nothing to be afraid of there. We, we all just need to lean in and get that data AI ready. Well, uh, Rachel, I think this one might be uh, more geared toward you. Um, how does Alteryx ensure scalability and performance when processing large data sets? And obviously these complex workflows. I mean, what is the, what is the underlying kind of secret horsepower that, uh, that Alteryx is bringing to the table? Yeah, with that, the secret horsepower is push down compute. So you saw in the demo video, we are utilizing things like Snowflakes, like Databricks, so instead of these traditional methodologies where you're relying on the compute of your computer, I have a laptop here that has these crazy workflows that are trying to run on my laptop. Now with these abilities to dig into Snowflake and Databricks and push that processing down, I'm no longer worried about my computer just having a, a heart attack and I'm able to scale up my workflows and give better visibility at scale to my users instead of having to 
snip down to maybe do little pockets of things and then publish them to server later. No, I'm able to build out my workflow, have that pushed down into Databricks and then automate that so that my users get everything that they need at scale. And I'm not worried about my computer overheating or anything like that. Yeah, Hannah, I wanted to um, throw one your way, which is um, you uh, talked about AI readiness is, uh, is not a one-time event, which I completely agree with. Uh, and, and again, I think it's maybe part of, uh, part of one of the things that folks need to overcome. But what, what does a sustainable ongoing approach to data readiness really look like? Yeah, and I, I think you hit the nail on the head when you said I, I glossed over that slide there, but it really was showing processes, right? Building repeatable and adaptable workflows. Um, your data pipelines have to evolve with the new data sources and roles and AI use cases that you're bringing in. And so establishing a clear process focusing on exploration and cleansing and profiling and documentation all from the start and figuring out how to make that more automated and repeatable and reduce your manual effort along the way really will accelerate your time to insight in the end. Um, so I think processes and figuring out how to automate them, that's really the key here on building the sustainable ongoing approach to your AI ready data. So with that, uh, I want to thank you both for spending some time with us today. Uh, this is, like I said, this is one of my uh, favorite topics, the idea of not only AI, but, but the fact that you really need to, to, to properly evaluate your data and, and really um, start to leverage the, the best organizations and, and solutions out there. So thanks, thanks again. Best of luck for the rest of the year. Uh, I know you guys are doing all kinds of interesting things and we'll keep watching here at Solutions Review. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. If your business would like to be featured in a future event, contact us today.